in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherever we are, we meet in the name of Christ, who is present at every time and place as our friend and brother. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A very warm welcome to this Mass when today we keep the feast of St. Etheldreda, Abbess. So we pray for all those who live the monastic life today. God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. Let us confess our sins and failings, and ask him who is rich in mercy for forgiveness and peace. You give your kingdom to the poor in spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give the earth for an inheritance to those who are meek. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You show yourself to those who are pure in heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace the Virgin Saint Etheldreda chose rather to be a servant of Christ than the Queen of an earthly realm, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may be freed from earthly toils and be found worthy of a heavenly crown. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went into the wilderness, a day's journey, and sitting under the furze bush, wished he were dead. O Lord, he said, I've had enough. Take my life. I'm no, no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down and went to sleep. But an angel touched him and said, Get, get up and eat. He looked round, and there at his head was a scone based on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey will be too long for you. So he got up and ate and drank. And strengthened by that food, he walked for forty days and forty nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into the cave and spent the night in it. Then he was told, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. Then the Lord himself went by. There came a mighty wind, so strong that it tore the mountains and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind came an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there came the sound of a gentle breeze. And when Elijah heard this, he covered his face with his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then a voice came to him which said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I am filled with jealous zeal for the Lord of hosts because the sons of Israel have deserted you, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I am the only one left, and they want to kill me. Go, the Lord said, go back by the same way to the wilderness of Damascus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the law of the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. His delight is in the law of the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. His delight is in the law of the Lord. 
not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. His delight is in the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever, and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the, Lord, the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I'll give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son Jesus Christ to hear us when we pray in faith. We pray for the life of the church throughout the world, for Christians in all places of all traditions. We pray for all monastic communities. We pray for this deanery, for Trevor, our bishop, and for Tim, our dean. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, praying for peace, justice, and reconciliation between all peoples and nations. We pray for this bailiwick, for Queen Elizabeth, our Lieutenant Governor, our bailiff, and the states of deliberation. Praying for wisdom in all decisions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the communities in which we find ourselves. We pray for this community, for this parish, for all those who live and work within it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, suffering or in any kind of need. Praying especially at this time for Val, Tony, Michelle, Barry, Hilary, Ju Josh, Julia, Father John, Janet, David, Lynn, Molly, Rosie and Matthew and any others we know who are in need at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who have passed from this life, those we love but see no more, those who have died suddenly or unprepared, those who have died recently and those whose anniversary is around this time, among them Elizabeth, Lawrence, Elizabeth, Kyle, Anne, Beryl, Cyril, Marlene, Nancy, Winifred, Patricia, Peter, Michael, Stan, and Unzuzo. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, that light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember us separated by pandemic, but united by faith in the body of Christ. May all who see this celebration of the Eucharist know the presence of Christ in their hearts and in their lives. Strengthen our communion, that we may be strengthened in the service of others. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known to us. Though we are separated, unite us in faith. Though we are apart, 
grant us the communion of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, this day we honour you in St. Ethel Dreda, who consecrated her life to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. In her you show us your saving love as you call the human race back to its first holiness and invite us to taste on earth the gifts of the world to come in communion with angels and archangels and all who served you on earth and worship you now in heaven we raise our voice to proclaim your glory forever praising you and saying holy 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 lord god of power and might Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Michael, St. Ethel Dreda, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Body of Christ, give me sacred time. Let us pray. Merciful God, 
who gave such grace to your servant Ethelreda, that she served you with singleness of heart and loved you above all things. Help us, whose communion with you has been renewed in this sacrament, to forsake all that holds us back from following Christ and to grow into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us by your holy word and by our fellowship in the body of Christ. United with him and with all the baptised in every time and place, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Sustain us in our isolation by the power of your spirit, that we may live in peace and free from all anxiety, to your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you, with all those you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.